we applaud the candidates who did speak Spanish. It really shows that people are paying attention to what the future of this country is going to look like. Wednesday night was a first. It gives more people the opportunity to watch that normally wouldn't. Latino viewers could turn on both Telemundo and Univision and hear candidates running for the highest office speak directly to them. Based upon uh, Facebook responses from our community, Castro did the best job. Joe Henry of the League of United Latin American Citizens says when it comes to jobs, immigration and housing. We know that he's speaking from his heart, from his own experiences that are similar to ours. So we're listening to what he's having to say. He says he's seen firsthand in Waukee that Julian Castro, the only Latino candidate running for president, offers an example of what we in the Latino community could do. Necesitamos incluir cada persona en Beto came in second. According to Henry, 60 million Americans are Latino. 28 million of those, like Chelsea Chisholm Vargas, are eligible voters. It's great that they have that ability. Um, ultimately, though, Speaking Spanish does not make you an advocate for the Latino community. We think it's more of a sign of respect. I think it's important. I wouldn't call it pandering. I would say that they're receptive to the importance of the communities that they're speaking to. You know, I can't say if it seems genuine or not, but I think that's something that a candidate should do. And this needs to happen again. We're a country of diversity. Reporting in Des Moines, Lauren Donovan, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader. Tonight, Henry says all eyes will be on Bernie Sanders. He says that in the past, he's spoken to many issues that Latino voters really care about. As to what other languages those candidates will attempt to speak tonight, we'll find out in just a few hours. Steve? Yeah.